Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer assets from one WAX wallet account to another. Uh, the use case for this would be if you're going to run more than one farm, maybe you want to have multiple farm plots and you need to transfer food tokens or NFTs from one account to another. So um, first you want to go to the account that you are transferring from. And this is my from address. This is my first WAX account address. And you want to go over to WAX blocks in order to transfer the tokens, whether that be the farmer's world, wood, gold, or food. And you would log in using your first WAX wallet account and go over to wallet and under here under transfer tokens this is where you would enter your second wax wallet address so you would just copy and paste that here and then select which tokens you'd like to transfer um, in this case i'm going to do the tiny bit of food that i have um, in order to get your wood gold and food over to tokens you need to first go to farmers world and withdraw those funds so if i had food in fact i do have food so i'm going to do a little bit um, so i'll go ahead and withdraw my food keep in mind there is a fee associated with this whenever you withdraw from the game so since it's only six percent right now i'm going to go ahead and do it for uh, just the for demonstrations purposes, uh, the lowest fee is going to be 5%. So ideally, you would wait <clears throat> until it's down to 5% before you would uh, withdraw from the game. Okay, so once you do that, that should show up on this side, it might take a couple minutes, you might need to refresh and log back in to your first wax wallet account address. All right, and then I'm going to repaste in that second account in there and then you can now see I've got the food in there. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer 20 food tokens over to the second wax address. Okay, so that is completed. Okay, and then in order to transfer any NFTs, whether that be any farm plots that you've already created, any crops, um, any tools, anything like that, you would first need to make sure that you are not actively mining with them. So over in the chest, you would need to make sure that you remove them from the game and that would put them back into your wallet. And then once you do that, you can go uh, back over here and you can see Enter again the second WAX address that you're going to transfer to, and then you can scroll down here and uh, select the NFT that you want to transfer over to the other account. Another probably easier way to do this visually is going to be through Atomic Hub. You would just go over to your inventory this way and select whatever assets you'd like to transfer over. So you just select, you would go to transfer, you would enter the secondary wax account, and then you would send that transfer and it would end up in the secondary wallet. Okay, so this is my new account and I'm gonna, like I said, log in over here, add account. Okay, so now I'm in my second account. And you can see over here that I have 20 Farmers World Food, which is what I transferred from my initial, my other account. <clears throat> so that's how you transfer tokens and NFTs from one WAX wallet account to another. Now, in order to actually open a second Farmers World game, you will need to transfer WAX over to this new account and be sure to stake that wax on CPU, net, and RAM, which I'll show you here in just a second. When you go to log in to your new wax wallet account on Farmers World, you need to make sure that you have uh, tokens staked on CPU, net, and RAM already. So I'm gonna go, th go ahead and walk through that process real quick. So I'm gonna log into my <clears throat> initial Wax Cloud Wallet.
Okay, and then I'm going to go transfer some wax from this count to the other. Okay, so I'm gonna paste in the second wax address and then I'll probably transfer uh, maybe a hundred wax to start. Okay, so now I can go and log into the new, my second wax wallet account. And I should have a hundred wax there that I can take on to uh, CPU, net, and RAM. <clears throat> okay, so to do that, I simply go under staking rewards and go to stake more tokens. And I'm gonna do uh, 25 of those on CPU. And then you don't need hardly any on net or RAM. So I'm gonna do five on net. And I will just do a couple on RAM. If you stake on RAM, you do not get that wax back. But if you stake on net and CPU, you do get those back. Um, so two is probably all I'm ever gonna really have to do on RAM since running the game does not take you know, much RAM at all. So, um, okay, now that I have that staked, I'm just gonna make sure that went through. I think it just needs a second to refresh. Okay, so now you can see I've got a little bit staked on each. So now I should be able to open the game. If you try to go into the game without staking anything, you'll just get the spinning wagon um, the entire time and it won't let you log in. And you'll have to approve everything the first time. You can select the don't show me this message again if you don't wanna have to approve it every time. Um, but now that I'm logging into my second farm, I'm going to spend some time to transfer a couple things over to this farm, uh, maybe a fishing rod or so to start generating food for energy. And then I will start some farm plots on the second farm since that seems to be a pretty lucrative thing at the moment. So this secondary farm, I will probably just run for crops um, just to keep that going. And then on my other farm, my initial farm, I've got all the wood tools. I've got a fishing net, a couple fishing rods, and a farm plot going over there. So other than that, I plan to just spend some time gathering some resources on my initial farm so that I can transfer over to this farm. Uh, as you saw earlier, I transferred 20 food tokens. So if I turn that into food, that'll start to get me going on my energy so that when I craft a farm plot, um, I will already be ahead of the game. So my next step is going to be to craft a farm plot, which I will probably do on the other account so that I don't have to um, have any fees for exchanging any wood over to this account. Um, so I'm going to craft the farm plot in my other account, then I will transfer that NFT to my second wax account and pull that into the game so I can start my farm plot over there so that way I'll have two farm plots going. Um, I'll probably try to do eight corn on each plot which is about 3600 gold a week or so um, which is going to be a pretty great return. Subscribe to my channel for more Farmers World updates and how to's.